Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Investor Financing Podcast. I'm your host, Bo Eckstein. And on today's show, we're going to discuss why a 7A, an SBA 7A loan might be a better option than the 504. Now, we we talk about SBA financing a lot on this channel because I think it is a great, amazing tool uh, for business owners and people looking to buy commercial real estate, which they're going to occupy. Now, here's two reasons why I think sometimes the 7A is a better loan specifically for startups. So if you're a startup and you're buying a commercial property, for example, for your business and there's commercial there's commercial real estate component to it, oftentimes a lot of people look at the 504. Well, the 504 has is, is geared more for longer term holds because it's got a 10 year declining prepayment penalty. Why the 7A might be advantageous is because the 504 limits your total LTC or loan to cost of your total project cost to 85% as a startup. For a SBA 7A, they can still do 90% loan to cost from a startup. So uh, right there alone, you're gonna get higher leverage with the 7A. The reason I also sometimes, uh, ins- uh, sometimes I like to, to talk with uh, business owners is that the 7A also only has a three-year prepayment penalty. And a lot of times on these startups or these real estate transactions, they're going to be building a lot of equity in their business and their real estate holdings, where most likely they're going to want to refinance after year three and pull out some cash and expand their business and so forth. So the the other item I wanted to talk about on today's show was that um, there's certain properties which are considered special purpose uh a bowling alley a movie theater uh potentially a campground or or a um a gas station and with a 504 you get a five percent haircut as well they'll on special purpose they're taking you down to 85 percent loan to cost and the 7a doesn't right the 7A usually is a variable rate loan uh, versus the 504, which is uh, actually two loans, a first and second. So these are like the differences. So when I get a call from a potential business owner that's looking to start a business, expand a business or so forth, we got to talk about all these options and really see like, what are, what's the plan? Are we going to add a lot of value to that property? Are we buying an RV park uh, and doing heavy value add? you're not going to want to go into a 10 year prepayment penalty. You're going to pay a little bit higher interest rate today and then refinance down the road into conventional financing, most likely. So that's the important of discovery call because there's not a one size fit all. And sometimes you can partner a 504 with a 7A, a companion 7A. Lots of ways to structure these deals. I'm trying to come up with uh, shows where I can kind of tell you the advantages, the pros and cons for each of the loans. But um, after a quick discussion, we could figure out what would really make the most sense for you to to figure out what what financing option would would best fit the end goal of where what you want to do. Um, and potentially, if you want to expand whatever this is, maybe it's the first self storage facility that you're buying and, and you want to grow this we look at doing a 504 green so we can maximize total SBA allowance from 5 million to 16 and a half million. So anyway, that's my rant for today. Hope you enjoyed this episode. We have tons of SBA content. We don't just, oh, we don't only talk about SBA. We talk about lots of different loan products. We talk about unsecured term loans, franchise financing, anything real estate or business financing. We like to cover on the show. We also do interviews uh, of real estate and business owners. So we try to bring a full uh, full menu to this channel. And if you guys would like to see any particular guests or any topics, you can, um, you can go to investorfinancingpodcast.com forward slash questions, I believe. And you can put a question in that you want answered. And uh, we do that once a month where we'll do Q&A. Actually, we're going to start doing that more often. So anyways, have a great day. We'll see you on the next episode. Hi, this is Bo Eckstein, host of the Investor Financing Podcast. 
Are you a real estate investor with properties and you're trying to figure out how to refinance or grow your existing real estate business? Need some clarity and a game plan for moving forward? I'm offering a free strategy call where we dive deep on your real estate investing goals. I'll help you come up with a strategic finance plan that will help you get to where you want to go. Whether you've got a portfolio of 30 properties or you're starting out with your first property, I have a framework that has helped many investors grow. If you're interested, book a call below in the Calendly link.